Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here on this new and um, here to talk about some NASCAR news, so we're not running to it. So, MBM uh, Motorsports, I learned to enter the number 66 Cup car at Chicago for uh, Josh Balicki. And that they're still going to be faster than Austin Dillon in the race. Yeah, he was close to winning last year. It was off pitch strategy. There's only reason Austin Dillon's up there. <laughs> yeah, he still managed to be faster than Austin Dillon. I mean, I see him racing at Chicago. But maybe he could put that car, just get that car in a good spot. Just bring the car clean. But for that race, they're only like two cars from a full field. I mean, he carried a live fast car into the top 20 at the row before he got wrecked by a joy, so I think he'd do good in a smaller car. But the big thing that uh, came out today was Gene Hollis uh, will retain one SHR charter for a new entity, Hollis Factory Team. It will, uh, it will also have a two-car Xfinity program. It will operate out of the current SHR facility. Joe Custer uh, will run the operation. There's no mention of drivers, sponsor, or sponsors, or manufacturer in the news release, but they will retain one SHR charter. They will also have a two-car XFINITY program. So, man, does Cole Custer really deserve another shot at coming back up to the Cup Series? Joe Custer's a good guy. I'm excited for him. Because I think he'll do fantastic. I'm glad to hear this team will be around in some capacity. They're, they're not just fully leaving. Because when they said, oh, everything's shut down, I'm like, are they fully leaving? But probably not. But I would, I would say with this news, it's all but guarantees Cole Custer could be in the cup card. But he uh, maybe he's earned another shot in cup. He's done really good next finish that's coming back, down back there, but will they actually have OEM support? I think that's a big question now uh, that Tony's out. And it's 100% Gene. Basically 100% Gene. I think he'll spend, spend the necessary money to get the support they need. However, is it Ford, Chevy, Toyota, or does he have to maybe try and make a deal with Honda to get them back in NASCAR? But I'd like to see what Custer has now see what he can do that he that he's had a full, more years to develop because I feel that they rushed him up to the cup series so now we can maybe see if he does get to go to cup I'm not saying he will I'm just saying if he does maybe we'll see if he's got any better but this is better than just a complete fire sale so basically got rid of the dead weight it feels like of Stuart Hollis racing so, it so that tells me it was essentially Tony that wanted out. I, n I never thought it was just Hollis that wanted out. I think it's just Tony that wanted out. And he seems way happier in NHRA. And it feels like Tony checked out a while ago. And I always thought it was Tony. The dude's been really never at the track since he got to the drag racing thing. But, always but it could have been... But but it was too much for Hollis with the F1 team. This team, it could have been, but I don't know. But I don't, I'm wondering what they're going to do. Like, what drivers? I could definitely see Cole coming up. Herbs could see an Xfinity if, they, if he can't get a cup ride. But I don't know. To be honest, they should keep Noah. I think between the three drivers left there, assuming Briscoe's go to the 19, he's the most he has, he's probably got the most upside and sponsorship options. That's just what I'm thinking. But those were there were rumors of FRM moving into that building. I would assume points to forward an alignment with FRM. I think that might be something. But I think it looks like Cole Custer might go back dri and drive the Cup Series. But, I could be wrong. But, Tony and Gene, when I'm seeing this, maybe has a, maybe a falling out. But, I think it's Cole, because no other reason why for this outside of Joe Custer being so desperate for his kid to regain a cup ride. I feel that's why Joe Custer is running the operation. But, Gene Haas uh, talked about keeping one cup charter. 
and my commitment to motorsports hasn't changed, just the scope of my involvement. Operating a four car cup series team has become too arduous. Or, or do us, or how you say that word, I'm not part of the nerd community. But at the same time, I still need a platform to, platform to promote Haas automation and growing and grow HaasTooling.com. I mean, yeah, he wants to promote his other companies. It's a fa I mean, it's effective strategy. I, mean, he seems, I guess he sounds really happy to be there. Basically, in other words, just beat it, Tony. But I would like to, but I would think Cole Custer, since he's already sponsored by Haas, would have a solid shot at this cup ride right? if he, if Haas didn't retain a charter. I would think Haas, more possible Custer to front row with Haas sponsorship, whether the team maybe has an alliance or something, I don't know. But along with Gene Haas committing to one of the cup team, to one cup team retaining one of the, one of the SHR charters and two Xfinity cars, uh, all out of the SHR shop under Haas factory team banner, at Front Row Motorsports is now not planning on relocating to the SHR campus. So that's what Rodney meant when he said he wasn't sure it was all over there yet. So it was Tony who won out, not Hollis. Um, just from what I, all I've seen. So I guess Hollis changed his mind on selling the team completely, which is kind of interesting when you look at it. So my guess is whatever license the Haas one one car cup team can get, it will be with that manufacturer. So I wouldn't say likely or unlikely any of the three at the moment. Kind of surprising announcement. Uh, so that's all I have to say about the uh, country artist Hardy. I will give command to start the engines for the cup race next week at Nashville. Love Hardy. They should have been the pre-race concert. Hard, Hardy's fire. I love Hardy. So I'm going to go over the uh, Loudon schedule again for this weekend. Uh, starting uh, tomorrow. And I'll also go over the weather. And um, other stuff. About if it rains. the What NASCAR will do. Or could do. So to, technically today... Uh, 2 30 p.m. modified practice 405 you have Xfinity practice qualified on the USA then modifieds uh, will qualify after that at 545 40 percent chance of rain and 70 degrees the current forecast Saturday 1235 on the USA cut practice and qualified at 3 p.m. on the USA you have your Xfinity pre-race 330 USA Xfinity um, 45 45 110 your stage lengths on the flow racing modifieds will be at 100 laps and it'll be in the 60s with a 55% chance of rain. Um, for the cup race, uh, for Sunday, 2 p.m., you have your cup pre-race on USA, then 2.30 in USA, the New Hampshire cup race, 70, 115, and 116 your stage lengths in the 70s, but with a current, current list as of now, 60% chance of rain. And here's uh, some stuff Bob, Bob Parker said that could be possible options. They do have rain tires to race in the damp conditions, not like a full downpour, but in damp conditions. Now the car ha cars have defoggers, but no wipers. Use rain X. Allowed uh, likely 60 to 75 minutes to dry, maybe less to run in damp condition. Now they have no lights, obviously, so sundown is at 8.30. And any decision to move the start time, it would have to be made within a 24-hour notice. So if they want to change the start time, they have to do it within a notice of 24 hours. I wonder what the over under on how many times you Bob will be asked this question before Sunday. I don't know. I don't think start time can be moved up because you have IMSA racing. If there's no wipers, I don't know how they can run in the damp conditions. If any stays the only the rain draft, just bring NAS just schedule a fucking NASCAR race. I don't know. But the, maybe some weather apps look pretty decent for both days in terms of having to get racing in. But some weather apps may look different. Some some may show rain. Some may not. I don't know. The cup money, cup and Xfinity purse money for this weekend for New Hampshire for cup is seven million, and Xfinity is one million. So those are the purse money for New Hampshire weekend. Frankie Muniz, Frankie Muniz, as a sign with a. 
Rayon Brothers Racing for four races this season for Nashville, Bristol, Michigan, and the Arca Series in Kansas. So, four races there for Frankie. Hopefully, he uh, takes advantage of that opportunity. Uh, Connor Daly will drive the Rat Jones number 30 car at the Arca race this weekend at Mid-Ohio. I thought he retired from driving to focus on podcasts. Yeah, it's not. I mean, I think he'll do solid in that 30 car for Rat Jones. Josh Barry on Sirius XM uh, NASCAR Radio uh, says he'll, he feels confident he'll be racing in the NASCAR Cup Series next season. He, he talked about his future and he said, I feel way better now than I did maybe a couple weeks ago. I think he knows. He just can't release it right now. I, but I think he knows. I'm get, I, just, I feel like Custer is going to be the one with the new Haas factory team. And I feel like Barry's going to front row. And people be like, oh, why, do, why it makes no sense? Because Cole's dad is Gene's best friend, and now he's the president of the team. And Gene sponsors Cole and never wanted him out of the 41 in the first place. So, that's just my opinion. But you never know, things could change. So, Ryan, uh, Ryan Ellis, uh, Pella News, uh, returns to his 43 car for the second consecutive year at Atlanta. Uh, cue that one Wiz Khalifa song, because. It's black and yellow. Black and yellow, black and yellow. Uh, Randall, Randall Burnett, the crew chief for Kyle Busch, uh, on Sirius XM NASCAR Radio, told Daniel Danielle Trotta, um, to, told them uh, he feels Kyle is very committed to the process and bi- building the eight team up now into, in, into the future. He's confident Kyle will be a part of RCR for the next few years. What KB said may seem deflating, but they're all frustrated, I'm sure. Like That's what they all say, though. We'll see how long he stays there, but I don't know. I, I don't know. So I kind of wanted to mention this. Um... So, on uh, the Door Bumper Clear podcast a few days ago, uh, if these, there were some schedule rumors uh, that are true. If, if they're true, it's going to be wild. They were mentioning two races that are coming out and going in are very big surprises. And Freddie Kraft said, the two that are going in are surprising, two that are coming out. Well, one that's going out, I think, is Atlanta because they're doing that in-season tournament thing. But I'm kind of curious what races. Well, two of them because they're pretty obvious because Atlanta's coming out, the first race of that in-season tournament. Darlington's probably going back in. But he's, but I'm kind of curious what the two races are that are coming out. I don't know. I have a feeling Nashville's going to be in the... It's, is going in as a playoff race. Say it's a normal weekend. Went to Atlanta. I don't know. Based on the comments, people are going to be very surprised on by one of the tracks. I, had, I don't know. What do I think the shocker is? I think the, I think the shocker coming out of the playoffs is Nashville. Because nobody's going to see it coming. And I think it's going to swap with Nashville. But I, they shouldn't take out the Bristol right, night race. But it's going to be interesting when the schedule comes out. But I'm, if I'm going to say... Atlanta's out, Darlington's in, Bristol out. If I want to say it's shocking, I guess Bristol out, and maybe, maybe Kentucky comes back since you know maybe it's both are SMI. I'm just saying, a, just I'm just trying to. No, no, I'm not. I'm not speculating. Like, I'm just, just saying, maybe Bristol back in August. Maybe Chicago. Maybe Chicago Lane could come back. I don't know. But man, if man, imagine if Kansas Speedway gets, gets their playoff race took out. Oh boy. Justin Haley says he's never raced cars as good as Rick Ware Racing car. That he'd be doing a nine to five job this year without Rick Ware Racing. And he's committed to them, so it looks like he's staying with Rick Ware Racing, which I think is the right move. Uh, Bubba Wallace will be driving the DraftKings car this weekend, and Ryan Priest will have support from longtime partner Mohawk Northeast. I mean, it's all the nice car I want to talk about here, so until next time, I'll Peace.